In this new updated Black Pearl locations guide, we're gonna show you all the best ways to get Black Pearls on the new Fjordr map. Thanks to a very recent patch, there are new locations where you can find Black Pearls on Fjordr. So I will not only show you every new location where Black Pearls can spawn, but I'll show you some alternative methods to get all the Black Pearls you need without going into any dangerous situations. So no matter where you live on Fjordr or what your skill level is, you can get all the Black Pearls you could possibly need. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. Now, our first Black Pearl location is the easiest and safest, but you don't get as many pearls here, and it's actually right in the middle of the ocean. I would recommend you find these hexagonal pillars right where this waterfall brings them down into the ocean, and from here, point yourself straight to the world tree sticking out way in the distance and go about halfway across the ocean till you're right in the very center of the ocean. And it's right about at 6050 right here. And we're gonna go straight down into the water and we are looking for the end of those hexagonal pillars right here. There's a trench of hexagon pillars and that dumps out right at the edge of this really deep pit. And we're gonna head straight to the bottom of that pit. And in the bottom here, you're gonna find quite a few black pearls. They're a bit hard to spot at first, but there are quite a few of them down here. And if you look carefully, you'll get a bunch of black pearls this way. Now there are quite a few sharks, alpha sharks, occasional plesiosaurs. There's decent dangerous stuff down here, but it's way less dangerous than some of these other locations to get black pearls. So we're here by the Magmasaur Cave, and uh, we're on the south side of the southern island, right on the west coast of it. You'll see this big lava flow that goes down from the volcano, and it goes down into this huge wyvern scar. And there's a lot of fire wyverns here, so be really careful. But it gets even more dangerous when we go inside. So on the end here, you'll see there's this entrance of a cave, and it's got all these purple crystals next to it. We're gonna head down in there, and we're gonna go right past all of the lava a golem, sometimes there's magmasaurs here, all kinds of dangerous cave creatures. But if you fly here at night using a Desmodus, you can stealth right past everything. And when we get down to the very bottom of this cave, there's this huge lava flow with magmasaurs. There's always tons of magmasaurs in here, but as you can see here, there's quite a few black pearls that you could just go and pick up by hand. You don't have to get your feet wet at all. There's some more over here, more over here, and they're just scattered all around this chamber and there's a bunch of element here too. There's usually only a couple magmasaurs on this section so if you get them to move you can land with your bat grab a few black pearls and get them back out safely before it's daylight again and you lose your ability to cloak. And if you've got like a giga or something you can actually eat the magmasaurs but bring plenty of medbrew so they don't catch you on fire and kill you. Very dangerous area but probably the most plentiful supply of black pearls on Fjordr. This next Black Pearl location is in Vanaheim in the Poison Wyvern Trench, and it was just added just a few days ago in a recent patch. So we're gonna find the green obelisk, and you can start right here if you use the portal room. On the mainland, it'll port you right to this spot. So I'm gonna find where that horse is and point straight where he's pointing and go directly that direction all the way to where I hit the wall, and once we hit the wall, you turn right, and you're gonna find all these hexagon-shaped pillars, and this is the Poison Wyvern Trench. And this is the GPS and map coordinates, and it's a little bit hard to use the map down here because we're uh, underneath the map, basically. So we're gonna go inside here, and be very, very careful. It's a good idea to have a gas mask to deal with the Poison Wyvern's poison so it doesn't insta-kill you. And I like to use a Maywing to lure the Wyverns out of the trench, and they have a real hard time getting back Back in. Once you get them to chase you outside, it's pretty empty and you can just walk in here. And when you go all the way to the very back, you find this waterfall, go down into the water next to that, and you're gonna find a bunch of black pearls, like probably 20 or 30 black pearl nodes, and you can just gather those by hand. The only problem is you want to be quick because it's not going to be very long before you've got a lot of very angry poison wyverns making your day miserable. 
Now, if you didn't like the Poison Wyvern Trench, you're really gonna not like this location. We're heading to the Lightning Wyvern Trench, which is even more dangerous. So we're here in Asgard, directly below the Red Obelisk, and here's the location of that obelisk. We're gonna head to where that giant green skeleton is, pointing kind of southwest, and we're gonna follow that across the skeleton, and you'll see this big valley down here with a lake on it. If we look to the north side of that lake, you'll see this triangle-shaped opening right there, and that's gonna be right at this location. If we head inside here, this is the Lightning Wyvern Trench, and after you get past all the deadly bats, you're gonna find this big broken area, and there's a waterfall on one side, and if you head away from the waterfall, you're going to find one of the most deadly places in Ark, full of lightning wyvern eggs and lightning wyverns. But if we head all the way to the bottom, below all the waterfalls, to the very end of this trench, you're gonna find this pool of water that's actually got a bunch of black pearls in it, and you can grab all of those, but getting back out is going to be the hard part because usually there are tons of lightning wyverns filling up this trench and they'll be shooting you non-stop the whole time. So this is one of my least recommended places to get black pearls, but I thought I would show you anyway. They also just added this about five days ago with a brand new patch to Fjorder. They didn't exist in the lightning trench before that. Now, I would highly recommend not using this location for Black Pearls because it is so dangerous, but it has probably the highest concentration, the highest number of Black Pearls in it. So I'm here on the map, right where this little pink dolphin is drawn on the map, and we're next to the Swamp Island and uh, across from this other island here, and right directly in the middle of the ocean, right at this location, if we go straight down here, we're gonna find all of these hexagon pillars and then if we look to the end of the hexagon pillars, there's a deep hole. This goes straight down into the hidden underground ocean on Fjorder. And this place is the most dangerous area on the entire map. See, we're already going past a squid. There's like alpha squids down here, alpha mosasaurs, lots of mosasaurs all over the place. But we'll find this lava trench, and at the end of that is the skeleton. And if we follow the skeleton, it's like a giant sea serpent. If we go underneath the skeleton's ribs, we're going to find plenty of black pearls. And uh, here's the GPS coordinates, but it doesn't matter much when you're down here. If we keep following this skeleton all the way down, we're going to see more black pearls there, plenty more down here. Like, there's so many black pearls. But the entire time you're down here, you're going to be hunted by mosasaurs and all kinds of really deadly stuff. So make sure you are very well armed. Now, it's already easy to get lost down here and it's really murky, but if you follow that skeleton all the way to the end of it, it's going to put you where you you can see the lava trench down here. If we go to the lava trench and follow it away from the skeleton, you'll see these plants going up here. And if we follow those up and to the end, you're eventually going to find this little opening. And this is how you get back outside. And I thought I would show you that because it's extremely easy to get lost down there and not be able to find your way out before you run out of oxygen. So these are all the best locations to find Black Pearl spawns on the Ark Fjorder map, but there's actually some much easier methods to get all the Black Pearls you need. By far my favorite way to get Black Pearls on Fjorder is to tame a gotcha, and maybe 1 in 20 gotchas will produce Black Pearls for you, and they can make all the Black Pearls you could possibly need without ever leaving your home. And pretty soon I'll do a video showing you a crazy technique to tame a gotcha in less than a minute, and you can easily get 20 gotchas in 20 to 30 minutes, and most likely get one that produces Black Pearls that way. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel with all notifications enabled so you don't miss that video when it comes out. And if you're watching this video after it came out, check the description. There might be a link to that guide already there, and it's going to save you so much time and trouble. You can also get tons of black pearls by killing those squid that I showed you in that underground ocean. And you can make your life much easier there if you eat cactus broth before you go down, which will reduce the aggro range of the mosasaurs. You can also kill sea scorpions and ammonites at the bottom of the ocean in safer areas to get black pearls. And if you go hunting the beaches on the morning, trilobites will come Come out of the water and those will occasionally drop black pearls too. And if you have an otter, you can whistle for it to attack fish
fish and kill them, and if you bring it back out of the water, it'll sometimes have silica pearls and occasionally black pearls for you. So hopefully this black pearl guide gave you enough options to get all the black pearls you could possibly need on your fjord or adventure, no matter what level you are or what area you live on the map. Drop a comment, I would love to hear what methods you use to get black pearls on Fjorder. And make sure to hit that like button if this video helped you. And keep an eye out because we've got lots more helpful Fjorder guides coming out really soon. Thanks for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. Please give it a thumbs up, share it around, and leave a comment. That helps us so much, and we love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video full of tricks that will help you win at Ark. While you wait, here's more videos you can watch right now, and we will see you in the next video.